I Am Angus is brought to you by the Igenity Profile for Angus, helping Angus producers everywhere to accelerate genetic progress and reduce risk in genetic investment. Welcome to the, uh, to the Kansas Bob Wire Association's uh, museum. Uh, the museum was, is located here in La Crosse, Kansas. Uh, the museum was initially started on Main Street in La Crosse in a small building and um, some 20 years ago moved to this new facility. We have um, numerous dioramas that uh, show the history of Bob Wire and how wire is used uh, in many cases. The uh, facility here has a, a research um, uh, library named the Larry Greer Library and it's in the uh, Hagemeyer Conference Room which is adjacent to the museum. Bob wire patents started in the early 1870s about uh, 1874 and uh, the uh, inspiration kind of started back in DeKalb County, Illinois at a county fair and um, the um, we have a display here in the museum how that all started between about uh, three or four different individuals competing for patent rights. Bob Wire is one of those things that um, evolved out of our pioneer history. The um, first idea was um, pushing barbs or a wire through a block of wood and attaching the wood to a smooth wire. As people got interested in um, in using that material, they came up with a numerous ideas of, uh, of how to make barbed wire. We have wire of uh, all imaginable kinds of uh, arrangements with barbs, twists of various kinds, uh, the gauges of the wire that those barbs are on. As the country developed and um, farmsteads uh, were developed on in my area here on every quarter section, then it became a necessity then to, uh, to uh, segregate each owner's uh, livestock and as well as protect his neighbor's uh, cropland. The, uh, the main thing about this museum is if, if uh, you need to know anything about Bob Wire, the research facility is here. Also, the display of the numerous Bob Wire uh, ideas through the displays here of some 2,000, 2,100 different barbed wires in these showcases.